Step number three. Lisa, are you there? I'm going to let you come in and talk about this one. Lisa is our um, head of the Marketing Academy. Lisa runs this. And, uh, many of you might know Lisa. She does a terrific job of uh, working with our clients from all over the world, implementing these types of campaigns in their uh, business. Lisa, do you want to come on and, and talk to us a little bit about your um, your thoughts on the golden ticket and how it works? And um, obviously, Lisa is, when you sign up for the Academy, Lisa is the person that you'll book a call with. She'll help you with that marketing plan. She'll help you with any uh, frustration, anytime you get stuck, any overwhelm, any just amount of ideas. Uh, she's that person that you'll get to talk to um, one-on-one -on -one regularly. So talk to us, first of all. Good afternoon. Welcome from... Um, Hi. Where, a very cold, yeah. is it? I, I gather a very cold part of, of uh, the Northeast right now. Uh, you know I don't complain about cold, Paul. Um, <laughs> every, well, every, everybody else is complaining, so you might as well all join them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's it's starting to brighten up, dry up a little bit. Not not as bad as it was this morning. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, great. Um, it's a great afternoon here. Yeah, good to be here. Good. And, nice. and also, I just want to say we've had... Um, uh, of the people who've signed up today, we've already had three of them that have booked their first first call with me. So um, well done to, to those of you who've already booked your call. So well done. I love it. And again, big a big thing for you all. Um, we, uh, I think sometimes we probably want to help more than sometimes people want to be helped. And I realize that's something we have to be a little careful of. But what we've done in the academy is really looked at it and said, well, what, what did I want 10 or 12 years ago when I set out on this journey? Um, I'm pretty much wanting to give you access to everything that I um, that I wanted when I first started. And one of those things was actually somebody to talk to, just a second voice in a conversation. And um, some people sign up for these types of things and they like the newsletters or they like the CDs or they like the replay and they like to consume. And that's cool. Um, but I just want to know if you uh, want you to know if you are the type of person that does like a second voice in the conversation. We have somebody who wants to talk to you. I have a team. This is not just a digital thing. It's not just some membership site trash that like people get you to sign up to. These are real life walk and talk and human beings ready to talk to you, ready to help you. And if you can see the value in a conversation with somebody for 45 minutes to an hour every month about your marketing and your direction and just a little candid kick up the ass every now and again, um, I'm pretty sure that you'll get more than enough value for money from uh, from talking to Lisa. So if you're signing up, make sure you talk uh, talk to Lisa as well and get. She's got goodies to give you. She's got um, access to bonuses that she uh, can only give you when she's spoken to you to confirm that they're good for you. She presses a little button and they're out on an email or out in the post for you. So make sure you do. Over to you, Lisa. Talk us about Golden Ticket, the evolution of this, and, and um, what's been your experience of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a it's a great thing to have instead of having a business card, um, is, is what I would say about this. Is that you know, if if you've um, started your business and thought, well, what I need to do is I need to get my flyers and my business cards and and my letterhead. Um, you can chuck that all of them in and yeah. uh, and make yourself a golden ticket because ultimately, um, it's something that you you can use in a lot of different situations. Um, it's it's something that you can have as as that marketing piece. And what it what it does that a business card doesn't do um, is give some give, give people more information about your business because you can put things on there like your you know your USP on there. You can put um, an offer on there, um, and 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 it's and it seems like like a, a little bit more special than just handing over a business card, which people have a stack of them in their wallet or on their desk that they never look at and, and end up getting lost anyway. Um, so it's a great thing to have around um, for a lot of different things, whether that's putting into um, a referral pack um, when you get a new patient in, whether it's taking it to a community event. Um, so that you can give it over to that person who you have that conversation with and, and you, you want to give them something that they can take away um, so that they can get in touch with you to, to, to book a discovery visit, um, any kind of small group talks and things that you do. You can also attach it to an email. You can use it as a P PDF, send it off. Um, if you're if you're doing gas calls and you speak to a, a you know somebody and they say oh yeah I, you know I'm feeling so great since I saw you, great. Well, I've got something that you can you can pass on to somebody else. Um, I'll send you the golden ticket. So it's something that um, once you've created it, you can use it in so many different ways um, to, and really it, it kind of replaces a lot of other pieces of collateral that you might have in your business. I love it. I love it. And I think the bit that is and should be taken is that it's again, it's back to this uh, intentionality. It's going to stand you out in a crowd of people who are giving things to people and even just a business card, which is easy lost. 
something like this, um, they know you've made an effort with it. And we've given you a selection there on the screen of um, ones that our clients have used over the last uh, six to 12 months, um, including ours at the uh, Physio. We, um, we styled it off the, the Willy Wonka style uh, golden ticket. Uh, if you like, he's how to get two free sessions and so on and so forth. Now, the good thing with this, um, you can do it. Um, you can do it for pretty much anything. It can be any offer, any product or any service. Um, it's just something to get somebody to, to, to bite, to stand out, to, to uh, give you a chance to say, I'm interested um, and make your offer attractive, incentivize it. It could be for massage. It could be for fitness, wellness. It could be for a free PT. It could be for Shockwave. If you're trying to promote a new program or service, Shockwave's quite big right now. Um, if you've got something like that in your office, can you give out 10 free, free, you know, free samples of it? Uh, if it's dry needling or acupuncture that you want to promote, if there's something in your office that's not doing as well as you would like or is new, then give out something like that for a golden, um, for a golden ticket. Uh, how long should it take them to create something like that, Lisa? Uh, only, you know, maybe maybe a couple hours. Um, you can do it yourself on Canva easily. Um, it's if, if anybody um, doesn't already use Canva for um, kind of self self publishing and uh, and creating their own marketing pieces, you can easily do that in an hour or two um, and, and send it off to a local printer um, if you've got one. Um, if you've, or, or, you know, you can always use something like Vista print as well. Um, but yeah, very, very easy to do it. And if you don't even want to take the hour to do it, you can send it off to somebody on Fiverr and, and have them a graphic designer it would take less than an hour to, to knock something up for you. That'll look really professional. Love it. And again, much of what we're trying to create here in the community that we're building is, um, is people who are willing to share with each other. And the real asset of when you're part of a community like this, look, it's, it's hard enough being in business on your own. Um, to be on your own in business is the scariest, loneliest place in the world. And I, and I know that you can attest to that as you listen to my voice as we talk. The um, the thing that can make it a lot easier is when you are around people who are doing what you're doing, not just from a, um, a social proof, um, you know, kind of way of thinking that you can very easily get lost in your own head as a business owner. But when you see other people having success, it gives you encouragement and it gives you inspiration and it tells you that you're not alone. And sometimes even just to know that these business owners are going through the same crap as you. It's not just happened to you. They've got the same staff and challenges. They've got the same Facebook issue that month or they've got the same deliverability issue with active campaign or whatever it is that they've got, right? Like we've all got the same problems. Um, ultimately, it's just about how quickly you overcome them. Um, and you can do that faster when you've got people around you. But one of the things that I think that, that people overlook when they you know, consider joining or being part of a coaching group is how much easier and faster it allows things like this to be created. Because um, I tell you, if this is me and I'm at the other end of, of this and I'm the person watching Paul, I'm looking at this and going, all I want to know is who made these things? How can I speak to them? And I wonder if they'll just let me have them and put my address on them. And I'll figure out what I can give them in return. Because if you get into relationships like that with people that are reciprocal, you find out in the end that you've got something that they want and they've got something that you want. You're not in direct competition with each other. And you've both just speeded up. At this, you've, you've gone at the speed of light in creating things that you would have ordinarily took weeks and months to do because you'll procrastinate over. And that is the bit that I really want to try and get into your head about this. Business is impossible if you're going to do it on your own. I, do, I don't get why anybody would get into business and think that they can do it on their own. And even if you can do it on your own, like you, you're carrying such a big burden on your back. Why would you do that? That This is a classic example of people. I mean, I could have put 50 of these up, of people that, that are doing this type of thing. When you start coming into this type of world with us, if you're going to join us and be part of us after this um, seminar is over, never forget it's just one dollar to continue simple as that right one dollar to continue after this is over these types of things right i'm leaving them on the screen for you to screenshot and photo do whatever you want like i'm putting them up there i promised you i'd give you stuff like this um but these types of things are coming around every day in our world and this is what we're doing to pull out of the facebook group pull out of the calls that lisa has with her clients the things that i'm doing with laura to create information that we can send to you to give you a non-stop always and forever permanent rhythmical acquisition of ideas strategies and tools that we know are, are working think very very carefully about what what you want from your marketing and what the real problem is about why you can't implement 
many people say, oh, I don't know, I just don't know what to do with marketing. Well, that's not going to improve if you just kind of walk away and don't do anything. And oh, I'm just a bit frightened about marketing. I get it. And so, so are we all at first, right? But safety in numbers. Go and watch what other people like you who are just as frightened as doing. Have a call with them. Reach out to them. Talk to Lisa. Talk to me. Talk to whoever. Ask in the group. Read the magazine. Get the coaching calls. Read all the special reports we send you. Get the 10K marketing idea. Watch what happens to your fear. All of a sudden, it starts to go away. You start implementing more and you start getting more results. So there's really always two arguments to, or, or two sides to every coaching that I do. Number one is the mechanical. This is the mechanical. There's your, there's your golden tickets. Number two is how quickly can I get into your head to make you realize that the only thing that's getting in the way of you being 10 times more successful than you are now is the bullshit that you're telling yourself about marketing or about why you can't do something about why this isn't right and about why this town is not right and about why this time isn't right. My governor my governor won't let me do this or my town's different and my patients won't pay my money. But it's, it's bullshit, right? And I cannot let any seminar go on without telling you. And I don't care if you don't like it, I'm not even remotely interested in your affection. I get enough of it from Natalie and my three kids and that's good enough for me. I'm not interested in your affection. I am interested in watching a smile on your face when you realize actually that this game of business is not as frightening as you have been allowed to tell yourself that it is. It's not as frightening as the asshole business owners that you're probably talking to every day who tell you that it's scary, who tell you that it's, oh, it's bad and everything's wrong and all of the bullshit that's going on. I swear it doesn't need to be that way. And I cannot let the seminar, I can't let the sessions, I can't let anything I do. It's my natural nature to tell you there's, there's one thing called this mechanical stuff that I'll give you till I'm blue in the face. You can... If you want fucking blood, you can have me blood. If you want some DNA, I'll fucking give you that. If I had a saw, I'd probably top my fucking... I'd, I'd give you my foot, right? If you want the foot, I'll just tell me if you want left or right, right? You can have it. But you know what? It won't make any difference in the world unless I get into your head a little bit. And right now is the golden opportunity for you all. Whether you're doing well, make sure you nail it. Don't get arrogant. Don't get cocky. And don't think that it's just because... Or, or it is because of what's going on around the world. But don't get caught out in three or four months when that tide goes the other way again a little. When all, when these governments do their fucking thing, they'll they'll throw a bomb under it. It started yesterday. Oh, there's only a quarter of a million jobs. Only a quarter of a million jobs when they're expecting one million to be taken. No shit, Sherlock. You're underwriting the fucking thing by $600 every fucking week till September. No wonder no sod's applying for a job. And it, 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 did it take a, like, a politician to figure out that that might be the reason that nobody's getting jobs? This is the bullshit that unfortunately we have to build our businesses around. This is the BS that's going on all around you. And yet it is still the greatest opportunity, greatest time ever to build a business. Don't sit there, 75 of you, and think that none of you can do this. Every single one of you can do something like this. Get your business moving, get your marketing moving, get you moving, get your ass moving. Get everything moving in the right direction to give yourself a chance of being the most successful business owner that you can possibly be. These things are here for you, right? The mechanical TikTok way of, of thinking about marketing, I can give you all that shit all day long. And, and candidly, so can a lot of people. But I can tell you what I'm and we and my company are world class at, better than anybody out there, bar none, right? And, and this is me getting on my high heart, bar fucking none. But the only ones who consider that actually, yeah, you do have a little bit of this shit in your head that stops you from doing this stuff. Something gets in the way when you leave these seminars that stops you from doing it, which is why you keep jumping from coach to coach, book to book, podcast to podcast. At some point, you need to stop all that shit and just get in the lane and do the fucking thing because magic happens when you do. The reason that very few people ever get what they want out of life or ever even remotely capable of achieving what they are possible is because they don't get in the lane and stick in it. This is inspiring some of you. Now go look at these golden, golden things. I know full well of 75 of you, 70 of you will not do this in your clinic. When I knock on your door in, in, in a month, when I ring up and say, you got your golden ticket, you're going to go, oh, we've been busy. We've been busy. I'm like, we're doing what? Well, we've just been busy. How, how's your patient numbers? Oh, not as many as we would like. Well, what the fuck have you been doing? Do you get it? What on God's earth have you been doing? You need more than just the mechanical stuff, is what I'm saying. The third reason that I invented the academy was to give you a kick up the ass every time you needed it. If you're serious about success, that's what you will need. Somebody who gets it's not good enough. Don't keep giving me the excuses. 
you'll pay the price in the end and it's coming faster than most people believe someday is a disease right that you'll take to the grave well someday we'll sort this out one day we'll figure it out eventually we'll get round to it but you've been saying it for 12 years you're 58 now you started telling me at 21 that someday you were going to get round to it you might as well wrap up are you with me don't leave this webinar with a few screenshots and a few notes and shove the thing in the fucking draw and never go back or never do anything. Otherwise, what was the point? You might as well be on Amazon with everybody else in the world, racking up credit card debt. You might as well have been at the shops buying shit you don't need just because they're bored, right? That's what they're doing. If you want the fulfillment and the achievement that comes with a successful business, do this shit because it works. Don't think for a second that it doesn't. But you've got to figure out why it's not working for you. Why, why are you not able to implement these things in 20 minutes like Kevin just did? That's where I think most people, I included, need help. That's the purpose of everything that we do uniquely different in this business than anybody else's. I'm adamant, firmly believe that. So, a little tactical piece of advice. Make it time-bound and specific to a promotion or a thing that you're doing in your clinic. It must be time-bound. It must be specific to something. Can't just be, oh, hey, hand this out and tell everybody about me. It's we've got this new shockwave machine that helps people with back pain. For the next 30 days, we've got eight free sessions to give away. Front desk and PT should be in on it. It must be given out regularly. The bigger and the uglier, the better. So it doesn't get lost. Natalie ain't keeping one of them in a handbag for three months. That's for sure. You get it? All right? It's not staying in the car. If in my case, you give it to me, it gets lost down the seat or the back of the car. In Natalie's case, it goes in a handbag. In my case, it goes in the car and gets lost forever if it's a business card. If it's a golden ticket and it's substantial, less likely that that'll happen. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best selling books, which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.